have your facts straight about where your watershed is located? Everyone in the world lives in a watershed. We live in the Old Man River watershed. Our watershed is 26,700 square kilometers. The Old Man River originates in Alberta's Beehive Natural Area, an area of alpine tundra and old-growth spruce and fir forests in Canada's Rocky Mountains. The Old Man Watershed is home to over 200,000 residents. Lethbridge is the largest urban center with about 90,000 residents. Other major communities in the basin include the Crow's Nest Pass, Pincher Creek, High River, Clare's Home, Coaldale, Tabor, and Cardston. The major rivers, creeks, wetlands, and lakes that make up the Old Man Watershed include the Old Man River, Castle River, Belly River, St. Mary River, Crow's Nest River, Waterton River and Waterton Lakes, Willow Creek, and Little Bow River. The Old Man Watershed is considered a headwater basin. Therefore, most, 90% of the water, comes from mountain runoff in the form of snow or rain. All of the water that's collected in our watershed flows to the Hudson Bay. The Old Man River joins the Bow River northeast of Tabor to form the South Saskatchewan River. From here, slow-moving and meandering prairie rivers carry the water east into Lake Winnipeg where it eventually reaches the Hudson Bay. Did you know that the name Old Man River comes to us from the First Nations Blackfoot people? Old Man is the English translation for the Blackfoot word nappy. Blackfoot creation stories tell us that nappy was the creator, the one who brought the land into being, who gave it shape and form, and the one who created the animals. The Old Man River is home to the living dinosaurs of the fish world, the Lake Sturgeon, with fossil records going back a hundred million years. These amazing creatures can live to over a hundred years old, weigh over a hundred pounds, and reach over five feet long. But remember, a watershed is more than just the water around us. It's also the air we breathe, and the places we live, work, and play. We also share it with the wildlife, birds, and plants. I'm going to leave you with something to think about. Water consumption is one way we impact our watershed. How much water do you think North Americans use in one day per person? About 330 liters or 87 gallons per person a day. That's 2.7 times more than people in Germany and almost 30 times more than people in Africa. That's an incredible difference. Doesn't it make you wonder what we could be doing better? The more we learn, the better we understand, the more we can help.